So it is the end of 2013. I know. Uh, my friend Danny from Coffee Break with Danny and I have decided to do the best of 2013 tag. Um, she has brown hair, dark eyes, and me blonde blue eyes, so you know why not? You get to see the best of both worlds. If you don't already know Danny, which let's get real, you already know Danny. Um, she is amazing. She's beautiful. She's so inspirational. I think I started watching her when she had like 10,000 subscribers. And now she has like 30,000 almost. Rock star status. Seriously, the girl is amazing. She puts videos up like almost every day. She does reviews, hauls, dupe videos, tutorials, and she gives you like the honest truth about any product, whether it's sent to her, whether she buys it. Like she is not afraid to let you know that something is no good. So let's just jump on in. I do not only <laughs> have, um, uh, okay, but I have more than one product for some of these categories, um, but it's just because I wanted to show y'all products that like I've been using for most of the year that I absolutely love, but also products that I might have picked up just a few months ago that I just cannot live without. So that is why I may have more than one. For primer, the product that I've used most of the year is the um, Urban Decay... Okay, Urban Decay Naked Skin Beauty Balm. Um, this is not a beauty balm that provides coverage, but I, I just love it. It's like minty, tingly on my skin, um, and I use it as a primer, and I really like it. It's almost gone. makes me sad. Um, but the product that I got not too long ago was the Benefit Professional, and I cannot live without this. I don't put this all over my face. I just get a very small amount. And just like dab it into like my pores and on my nose, you know, because I have bad pores. Makes me sad. But anyway, um, for foundation, I only have one. Um, Y'all know if you've been watching me for a while that I love the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. Holy Girl status. Um, but I just don't use it every day. It's expensive. So, yeah. The product that I use the most and have used the most would be the Revlon Colorstay. I talk about it all the time. I am in shade 250 Fresh Beige right now. Um, this is actually brand new. <laughs> I used up my other one, so my other one. Is that Irish? What was that? I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Um, concealer. <laughs> Hands down. MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. I'm in NW20. I use this under my eyes. If I have a blemish, I will put it on that. I use it to highlight. Um, it is the perfect concealer. So many people have been talking about that NARS one, the creamy one, and I just cannot bring myself to buying it because it's just like when you have something so perfect, I don't know. Concealer is just not one of those things to where I'm like, mascara. I may absolutely love mascara, but I will still buy more mascara just to see if something's better. I don't do that with my concealers. I love it. Happy with it. Don't need to shop for any more. Um, I also use the Prep and Prime Highlighter and Radiant Rose and Light Boost. These are just, I just love them um, for underneath my eyes to highlight. For powder. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, the product that my nose is. The product that I've used the most throughout the year would be the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I'm in Medium Plus. It just gives a very natural um, finish to the skin, set your, setting your foundation. And I really do love this product. Um, I have not been using it a lot lately because y'all all know that I... I just recently, if you've been watching me, uh, purchased the Kat Von D Locket Powder Foundation. That is my holy grail powder, but I've only had it for like a month, so I'm trying to be good. But if you don't have that, go get it. Another powder real fast, uh, that's like a drugstore, would be the Rimmel Stay Matte. I use that a whole lot too. Nothing bad to say about that powder. Um, next would be Contour and Blush. And I'm really sorry to do this to you guys. But I have two again. And this was the first contour uh, product that I ever bought. This is MAC Harmony. It's actually a blush. Yeah. I'm speeding through these because I'm trying 
I don't want the video to be an hour long, you know, so bear with me. Mac Harmony, perfect contour shade ever. Love it. As far as like just bronzing of the skin, NYC Sunny Bronzer. I, ooh, I just really love this and you cannot beat it because it's like two seventy nine dollars at Walmart. Seriously? Yeah, it's, like, it's great. Okay, for blush, let me make sure I'm on track and I didn't like get these out of order. I really hope I'm in the camera. Y'all know I don't have a viewfinder, so like there's no telling what's going on with me. Um, yeah, blush. So, I have three. I have three. Just, I am a hoarder. I'm a makeup hoarder in general, but like, oh, blush. <laughs> and there's actually another one that I really want to include, but I've only had it for like four days. But like, I know that I'm actually wearing it today. Ellen Masca Katie. Ah, it's gorgeous. But anyway, um, Tarte Exposed looks perfect on any skin tone. I absolutely love it. Um, just really natural. And the Bomb Down Boy is the most gorgeous pink. It is so, so pretty. Um, I just love that. But the one that I haven't had for very long that I can't live without. Y'all know. Y'all know what it is. This is a Benefit Rocketeer. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, highlighter. The Bomb. Mary Luminizer. So, so pretty. I've used this one the most, probably, um, along with a couple of the physicians. I Seriously, I feel like this is... This is so hard on most of these products to just say one because there are so many great products out there. But yeah, I chose this one and I only picked one. Y'all should be impressed. Brows, Milani Easy Brow. I cannot get enough of this product. I bought the Anastasia one. Um, it didn't work for me. If y'all saw my brow tutorial, it was like one of my first videos I ever put up. My brows are awful. <laughs> awful. I have to like literally like draw on some of my brows. Um, like fill in really, really crucial fill in. Um, and with the Anastasia one, it like, it didn't do good. This is where it's at, right here, Milani. Um, and then for powder wise, I just really like the Elf one that you can get for three dollars at Target. Moving right along to palettes, I'm just gonna give it to the Naked Urban Urban Decay. Why can't I get that right? Urban Decay Naked Basics. Um, it is just perfect. It's the perfect size. The pigmentation's perfect. It blends out perfectly. You could do a smoky eye. You could do a natural everyday eye. There's, you just cannot go wrong with this. You could use the black as like an eyeliner. It's just, I love it. Y'all know I love my naked. There's so many, I love so many of my palettes. But like if I had to, to just pick one, you know. Okay, I don't want to say that. I don't know if, if I, for the rest of my life, only had this probably wouldn't be it. But as far as like my most used for 2013 that's always stayed in my mind, I would have to say this. Um, but I'm going to give a little shout out to this. Okay. Okay. That's it. Eyeliner. I haven't had this very long, but I love it so much. I feel comfortable saying that this is the best eyeliner ever. NARS Via Viento. I've talked about it so much. Um, I just love it. Mascara. I have chose this one because um, I've bought the most of them. I don't even know how many I've gone through. These are, this is just a great mascara. The Georgiana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. I talked about this so much. Um, and then I got on this whole, is there a better mascara out there? And I've been just trying so many mascaras. Um, so, but I will always have one of these in my drawer. And we're almost done. Let's see. What's next? Lip pencil. I'm not going to lie. I have lip pencils. I use them 
every now and then. I'm not a big lip pencil fan. Um, I guess maybe I'm lazy and I just want to throw on the lipstick. So I didn't want to make something up just for the sake of the video. So I don't have that. But I have two lipsticks. So there you go. Um, the one that I'm wearing right now is MAC uh, Cream Sheen. This is Cream Cup or Creme Cup, however you want to say it. Um, it's just a perfect nudie pink um, everyday shade. And I will always have that color as well. And the Maybelline Whisper Lust for Blush. Look how much I have to scroll. Yeah. Love it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pink. I feel like it's pretty similar to, um, what is it? I don't know, but I love it. And lip gloss, hands down, without question, didn't have to think twice. The color I'm wearing right now, and this is Pink Lady. This is a Buxom Cream Lip Gloss. Can you see how much I've used? Love it. And I will be repurchasing this. Yeah, I'm done. I don't even know how fast that was. I mean, I know it was fast. I don't know how long the video is. But. Okay, so that is all of them. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry that I couldn't stick to just one product. Um, I did want to say a real quick shout out to all my new subscribers. I haven't done this in a while, but I absolutely love you guys. Like, it is so exciting. Like, anytime that I get, like, an email saying someone has subscribed to me, like, I just want to, like, know who you are. Say hi. <laughs> I know that sounds a little crazy, doesn't it? But, um... But yeah, y'all make this so much fun, like, interacting with you guys through the comments or if you follow me on Instagram. Um, it's just really fun. So, welcome, you guys. I love you all. Um, don't forget to go check out Danny. Like I said, I know you already know her. But anyway, until next time, I hope y'all have a very Merry Christmas. Love you. Mwah. Bye, guys.